When it comes to printing paper on a regular old inkjet printer, you don't really have to think too hard about the print orientation. You can print it right way up or upside down, but it won't really affect the print quality. FDM 3D printing, on the other hand, is a whole different ball game. And in this 3D Printing 101, we'll discuss how important print orientation is to your 3D printing success. Let's get started. Welcome to another 3D Printing 101 here on Makers News. First, let's go through some of the factors you can consider when determining the best part orientation. Number one, gravity. Your 3D print is constructed with many layers on top of one another, created as your hot end extrudes molten plastic through a small nozzle. It operates in air and the print is affected by gravity as it forms and cools. While layers can overhang each other to a degree, this is definitely a factor you need to take into consideration. Number two, think ahead about supports. When a design has overhangs that would fail on their own, you need to consider using support material. Think of support structures as the scaffolding of your print during the 3D printing process. You need something that will hold up the unstable areas until the construction is finished. With FDM 3D printing, you can use support structures to support your unstable areas or areas that would have issues due to gravity as mentioned before, so it's good practice to think about the best build orientation. Depending on your print orientation, you may be able to minimize the use of supports or even remove them entirely. If you want to learn more about support structures, you can check out our 3D Printing 101 video on them here. Number three, free yourself from what you see. The FDM 3D printing gives you the opportunity to print something differently from how you would see it or otherwise use it after the 3D printing process is completed. For example, these letters. You see them standing upright, but that's not the best way to print them. Number four, fit and finish and strength requirements. Is there a particular side or area of your model that requires the best visual fit and finish? If so, you may be able to use your print bed orientation to affect the visuals of the final product. Your print orientation will also play a role in the overall strength of your finished 3D print. So with that theory out of the way, let's jump into Simplify 3D and explore some examples. Here I've got a basic design to demonstrate why print orientation is so important. A block with text on one side. When I load the STL file into the software, this is the orientation it comes in. But should it be printed like this? You see, due to the layer by layer nature of 3D printing, the layers of a 3D print are actually much like a wood grain, so standing it up would be the weakest orientation with the smallest layer cross section. You wouldn't build with a plank of wood like that, so why would you put your 3D print in the same situation? So with that considered, how about this orientation with the text facing up? This is probably the orientation many newcomers to 3D printing would choose, however it's not the best solution. You see, although you can 3D print down to very fine layer heights, your nozzle diameter yields the lowest quality results for the detail on the top and bottom surfaces of a 3D print. Because of this, you want to avoid printing the text facing up. So knowing all of this, what is the best print orientation for details and strength? Well in this case, it would be lying on its side with the text facing sideways. This gives us a large layer cross-sectional area for higher strength and the text will have more detail thanks to the higher detail gains on the side of prints because of the finer layer heights. You may also want to enable the 3D Transform Gizmo for more complicated models. The Gizmo tool is a fantastic way to quickly and intuitively reorient files as well as do very complicated 3D transforms. To turn it on, go to Tools, Options, Preferences and then select Always Show the 3D Transform Gizmo. This way, when we select rotate, we can now see all the axes of rotation and the model can be quickly placed in any orientation we wish. Let's look at another example, this kitty phone holder. It's adorable. This is how it's designed to be used, but how should it be 3D printed? Well, importing the file into Simplify 3D gives us this orientation. That doesn't look very easy to print now, does it? Remember, we want to minimize or remove the need of support materials or any areas that would fail due to gravity. You also need the 3D print to stick to our print bed well so it doesn't come loose and fail halfway through. Instead, this design would print much better lying on its side. To do this, I want to introduce you to the Place Surfaces tool, possibly my most favorite tool for quickly orienting objects. It works by selecting a surface and then rotates the model so that surface faces flat down on the print bed. So, despite this model being a very strange orientation, I can click Place Surfaces, zoom in a bit on the area I want to place down, and there we go, printing perfection, and this will print with no issues at all. Cool stuff. 
Now it's over to you guys. I have this model and I want to 3D print it. What would be the best printing orientation? Let me know in the comments and I'll give it a shot. So I hope this video has helped you think about gravity and orientation a bit differently and how you can use clever orientation to get the best 3D prints possible on your machine. And a big thanks to Simplify 3D for sponsoring this episode of 3D Printing 101 on Maker's Muse. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future 3D printing tips, tricks, and tutorials. And if you're hungry for more 3D Printing 101, we've got you covered with a huge playlist of previous episodes. My name is Angus, and I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Maker's News. Catch you later. Bye.